quick ways to do a name search, name clearance search for your business, just to make sure you're not infringing on somebody else's rights and taking away their name, but also where you're not paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars to a lawyer. So we can get those done at home quickly before you turn to a lawyer for any type of trademark. So here we go. Number one, Google. Google is your best friend. Google will help you figure it out. Google will also find searches, not just in your region, not just in your state or city, but also nationally and also globally. So use Google. It is your best friend. Search it. Search it not only with the name that you're trying to use it for, but also the industry that you're using it for, the capacity or for you know the purposes of the services or the products that you're providing. Search it with all of those search words so that you can see if anybody else is using that particular name or a form of that name that could be similar to what you're trying to use and it could cause confusion. So go search it on Google. Google is your best friend. Now, after Google, another spot you can go is number two, your secretary of state's office. So if you're in the United States or if you are global somewhere and there is a place, a data bank that people register their businesses with, go and check that data bank out, especially if it's in your state go check it out. It doesn't mean that those names are trademarked, but what it does mean is that those names are taken. And so while that's not an official trademark application in the United States, when you are registering your company with the Secretary of State, but what it does do is that, you know, it's by default, there's some common law trademark out there. And so they have staked a claim on that name. And then also, again, look at the industry, look at the purposes that they're using the name for and the goods and services that they're selling with that name. Number three, another great spot to stop and look is social media. Honestly, Instagram, Facebook, websites, you know, even Etsy and Pinterest, all of these spots are great spots. Now, social media law is still growing, it's still expanding and it's slowly there. And so not all the time, just because you own a trademark doesn't mean that you can't open up a social media and account with that particular name that is owned by somebody else. However, if somebody already has it and they are selling their business stuff or their products through that name, don't do it. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough trying to defend it if it's in the same industry and in the same product line or the same service line that you're trying to serve. Just don't do it. Avoid it. Go for something else. Go for something that would be better to protect from your end and easy to also trademark later on in the future with the USPTO, which leads me to the next spot to check out is the USPTO, the United States Patent and Trade Office. Go to their data bank. It's free and check out the names that you are trying to use or a combination of that and see if anybody else has it in the same industry and in the same product line or the goods that you're trying to serve or in the classifications as they call it and to make sure that you know you can use it because at the end of the day the worst thing is starting a business name creating all this merchandise and then having someone tell you six months into it that hey this is mine here's my trademark filing number you need to take this down and you have now spent thousands of dollars on merch thousands of dollars on website design and branding. You can't do that. It's not worth it. It's not viable. And so the best way to start doing it is just a very basic search on your end. Now, of course, this is not necessarily the most exhaustive way. And if you're trying to do a trademark, an official trademark with the USPTO, then you must definitely do a full trademark clearance to make sure that you can do it. But this is a great place to start. This is a great place to just get your needle moving if you're starting a business and where you are not pausing because you don't know if somebody has the name or not.